AI computer agents, your digital assistants that actually take actions. Watch in real time as AI completes tasks for you. Real time flight search and analysis, system health monitoring, and YouTube trend analysis. These are the examples which we are going to see. These are AI agents that can directly work for you taking actions in your computer. So here, this computer is running on the browser. You are able to give actions and based on that, it executes and controls this computer. Still, we have control over it. That is human in the loop. So we can stop at any time, approve any actions and automate complex tasks. I just asked, show me available flights to Greece departing from London, the first week of January, 2025. Then it automatically controls this virtual computer, browses through the web, extract relevant information and displays it clearly here. I don't need to do anything at all. Imagine in future, all your computer is controlled by AI agents with human in the loop. And this feature is now available in chat LLM for teams from Abacus AI. And thanks to Abacus AI for sponsoring this video. I will show you how you can easily set this up in your browser step-by-step hands-on tutorial. I'll put the link in the description for you to sign up. It's just $10 a month with multiple features. Considering ChatGPT is $20 a month. First, let's search for flights and do an analysis. So once after your sign in, on the top, you got this icon. Just click on that. It's just a sidebar. There you got computer agent, a new feature. Clicking on that. Now you will have this virtual computer automatically set with all these features plus you are able to give tasks here i'm just going to say search for flights from london to san francisco departing in the first week of january 2025 and clicking send and now this automatically opens this firefox browser and it's search for the google flights without me doing anything at all automatically entering those details it's entering from and to destination then it is choosing the date this is amazing. It's choosing the first week, as I mentioned before. Now it's searching for those flights. Now I can even add any other commands here. Here it's giving me an overview, the departure time, arrival time, duration, the price. I didn't do anything. It browsed the web and then gave all this information. If I want to use Claude computer use, I need to manually set that up. It automatically creates this computer so that I can run automation. Now I can just say, Extract all these information and save that in an Excel file and clicking send. Here it sets up the column names, airline, departure time, arrival time, duration, price, etc. It stored the file in this location. I'm asking it to open the file for me to view and clicking enter. It says the file is ready and I mentioned save that in spreadsheet as a human in the loop. Now it's automatically typing those values in this Excel sheet. That is really nice. Now it's writing about Virgin Atlantic. Now it is saving the file. Next, system health monitoring. List all active processes on my computer. Show their resource consumption and evaluate the system's performance. A bit more complicated task. Clicking send. It's going to use the bash tool to run several commands to get the detailed information. Now it immediately gave me the information. 8 core, 62 GB total RAM, CPU usage, 9.1%, memory, system load and many more things. This is really nice. Next, YouTube trend analysis. Find Mervin Prison's trending videos and show their stats. Clicking send. Now it's opening Firefox. Let me type YouTube URL directly and it went to the YouTube URL directly. Here are the few steps it took. Try to navigate. If any issues, it's automatically managing to fix the issue. And it came to my YouTube channel. It got its subscriber count, 51,000 last video 19 hours ago now it's clicking the videos tab to see trending video and here it got the latest trending videos that is really nice i can ask you to save this data in an excel sheet and analyze the data from there but i will let you do it and let me know in the comments below what you think about this one more thing to note just because this feature is an initial state you might see some delay in the response but eventually it'll work but i hope in the near future this is going to be super fast and you are able to complete this task in seconds. And I'm really excited about this. Considering you already like chat LLM, I've also created another video which clearly explains about chat LLM 
GitHub integration to supercharge your coding experience. And I will see you there.